Hello and welcome to Computer Science for Everyone. My name is Carl Harrell and I've been a professional programmer for over 15 years. In this course I'm going to teach you how to begin writing your own computer software. Later in the course when we do start writing actual programs we'll be using this program to do so. This is called CodeBlocks and I'll show you how to set that up so you can actually write and run your own programs. But don't get in too much of a hurry though. There's a lot of material that we need to cover before you'll be able to actually write your own programs, but we'll get there. Now don't worry if you've tried to learn programming before. Or it might be that you learned the basics of a programming language, but you're not able to actually sit down and make something useful. There is a big difference between knowing a programming language, such as what a book teaches, and knowing how to actually make usable software. Most programming books and tutorials just focus on how to use a particular language's syntax, but they don't explain beyond this. As a result, there are many people out there who have learned programming, which effectively means that they can write a program so long as it consists of displaying some text on the screen. So what is the missing link? The answer is libraries. Libraries are the tools that you need as a programmer to actually make useful software. In short, libraries provide you with functions that you can call rather easily from inside your programs to actually put your knowledge to work. For example, nothing in the core language of C gives you the ability to draw a circle, but a graphics library very well might have a function called draw circle. And this is how advanced applications and games are built. The libraries themselves are put together and packaged for programmers to use, and then the language serves as an interface between the programmer and the libraries. We will be spending a great deal of time working with these types of libraries to build real, usable programs and games in this course. Keep in mind that unlike a programming book, this is an interactive course, and if you get stuck or need help along the way, just feel free to ask your questions in the discussion areas, whether on YouTube or at the website ComputerScienceForEveryone.com. Also, keep in mind that this course and all materials offered are offered free of charge. I hope you enjoy this course, and if you have any questions, feel free to post them.